Hi guys, Subby Productions here. Oh boy, it's been a really, really long time, isn't it? Um, I wonder where was the last. Um, I wonder where was the last time I uploaded my video. Eesh, <coughs> that long ago, huh? And it's also been very, very long time since you've seen this face. So yes, now I know a bunch of you have a lot of questions, ask me like mainly where have I been? Well. Basically, I'll give you one word. College. Yep, that's it. That's all. And I guess you all seen reasons before. People are busy with education or job life. Like they don't really have time to do YouTube stuff. I'm no, I'm no, di I'm no difference from that. I've been very busy at my college course. For those of you who don't know, in my college course, uh, I work voluntary at a hospital, and you can now tell how busy I really am. It also, it also makes me more busy that I also that I'm taking driving lessons. Like in January, I actually passed. Well, if you live in the UK, then you probably know this. That in January, I passed my Fury test, which whoopee, which means I'm one step closer to actually do. To actually drive, I just need to do my driving test, and yeah, that, and that we basically up. So hopefully you guys can good luck on me on that. So, but but now, but now I'm starting to feel like I'm kind of miss making videos. Yes, I mean, yes, I mean, as you most of you may know me as SubbyBX, I used to make reaction channels, and yes, my opinion still stands by from what I said previously. I am not. I am not planning on making returns on making reaction videos again. So for those of you who are hoping that I'll make reaction videos, I'm sorry to say you have lost your hope on that. I, as I said, and I'm still that as I said in my state, I am never ever going to return to reaction videos ever again. So, so yes, but I, but I will make some bunch of videos, which I will get into that in a moment. I also because I also want to address that project or oh sorry, I was only something sorry uh, this project of mine project um, this project what I was gonna make a documentary of SMG4 this was supposed to be a collab between me and Super Mario Gamer 001 and it was meant to release in summer last year but as I was editing it I kind of lost motivation of making the video I kind of lost motivation and I just simply stopped and that's really i gotta have to say i simply stopped making a documentary and then after that college happened around around august and then yeah so will i be returning on making the project i don't i don't know i mean i'm st i still don't feel the motivation to make it but if you guys are hoping for me to make the doc the uh, the documentary then i can i i I'll try. The problem is, uh, Super Mario Gear 001 is of course provided a narration. It, it, it might be no point of asking him now since, well, he's probably busy with other things. As far as I know, he's probably busy of making that uh, his a fan made uh, mod game of uh, Friday Night Funkin. I think he's busy making that, so I highly doubt he'll t he'll have time to set over his lines for, for my for my SMG4 documentary, so, but, but yeah, but, but I have to wait and see for that. But, so, you may be wondering, so now, you, now I answer the question, what type of videos I'll be making now if I'm not going to plan on making reaction videos? Well, you may know about my Smash content, like my S Smash Bros fan-made fighter pass. Yeah, I no longer have them, I... I'm sorry to say this, but I also had no longer had motivation to uh, make it. And plus, like seriously, these type of videos took me a week to make. If it's uh, if I mean sure the editing was a simple part, but making the PowerPoint of it, like editing bunch of photos and making old costumes where they're not available online, yeah, and thinking and research ideas for move sets. Yeah, they're pretty hard, and and I'll tell you, it's not very, very easy. So, which is why I kind of having a bit of a break on that. I did have the motivation again back around December, and then I kind of stopped again. 
And the reason I managed to make it to Zappa is because it was during the Christmas holidays, so that's why I had lots of time for that. So, so yeah, that's that. But I did leave, but in my community page, I did leave a link to my Google Drive where, and, and you can also find it in the description of this video if you want to, guys. You can make your own, you can make your own fan made Fighter Pass. The only software that you really need is a PowerPoint and then photo editing software. I would recommend, I would say, I definitely, sorry. I would definitely recommend uh, Paint.net. That's the main photo editing software I use to make to make my fan-made fighter pass. And uh, yeah, so now I will tell you mo a lot. Of, some of the templates I did not make myself. Some of them I did make myself. Others I just got it from. I just borrowed from others. But if you wanna, if you wanna have, if you wanna go check it out, then it's in the it's in the description. So. So then, there we go. So now the, okay, I think that's all the, so that's all the things I want to go over. So now, what about the videos? What type of videos I'll be making now? So, so recently, um, if you guys know Unlucky Tug, then maybe you do. For those of you who don't, Unlucky Tug is uh, the most popular uh, YouTuber from the Thomas and Friends fandom. Yes, I, I'm, a, I'm technically a part of the Thomas and Friends adult fandom. Yes, there's actually adult f f adults that are still fans of Thomas to this day. And honestly, I truly, truly love that fandom. With his series uh, called Solo's Finest, where he goes in depth of, um, of the characters from the show and his own opinions on, on them in different type of eras. But that gives me the idea. What if I do the same thing, but with SMG4 and SML characters? Yes, I thought of the idea of what if I do, uh, what if I go make myself my own video where I go in depth of a character's history, their ch character journey, my own opinions on certain things, their personality, their relationship with others, all that. I would definitely love to make those. So, this which is why I would call which is why I would definitely make um, something. I would definitely make SML finest. Sorry, I probably sh scratching my armpit. I I shaved it, so yeah. But basically, SML finest. Basically, it's a I'm, it's a series where I will be talking about a, a certain SML character, its history, its journey, its personality, and the relationship with others, and my own opinions on certain things about the characters. So yes, definitely look out for that. I would, I don't know when I'll make it or release it, but I can give you this. If the first SML Finest video I would definitely love will do is Chef PP. I feel like he's the simple character to start with. Like he's a, a big character, like in my, in my feeling, like he's a cat. He's obviously the main, uh, the main one of the main cast, but at the same time, he is basically a bit simple t to uh, to talk over. Since I don't really think there's really much change over him, unlike the other main characters. If for SMG4, I would definitely go for Axo. Oh boy, he had someone of a character journey that I would definitely love to go over. So yes, that's basically it. That's two series I would love to do: uh, an SMG4. SMG4 Finest and SML Finest. But before I make those videos, I want to, I want, I also want to make mini review, uh, uh, mini review videos, like videos that I wanted to be about 10 minutes long, where I go over some certain SML or SMG4 videos that I felt like I really want to make a video on and talk about. Like, um, if I could give an example, I would definitely love to make a video about the new, the, one of the new SML movies, uh, called his real dad. I absolutely do not like that video, and I will explain to you why once I one day make that video and release it. So, yeah. And that's all I wanted to say. So, I wanted to make content related to SMG4 and SML because these are the two things that I have good, I think I have some knowledge about. But once I research more about the, you know, about them, hopefully they'll be very useful for me when it comes to making videos like this. So what do you think? Um, I would definitely love to give it a go and see how we go and see how it is. 
so that's uh, that's that's all I wanted to say so I, I will now I can't guarantee I'll make videos frequently as I said I'm still busy with college I'm nearly finishing the other course I just need a few months to go and after that summer begins and I finish that course and and of course in my country the the spring holidays coming coming up in a few weeks and I'll definitely probably use that time to make but make videos use that time to make lots of videos I'm so yes yeah, so that's basically what are all what what I want to say so I want to say um, thank you very much for watching everyone I am so sorry that I never really uh, explain early explain um, months ago why I was off the went of the hiatus for that long but hopefully you understand why and hopefully I will see you guys soon don't know when but hopefully soon thank you for watching everyone this is Subby Production, which is something by the way, I might change it, the name, Subby Production, just a bit of a, just want to make it, you know, a bit easier for talk, like, I love that word, can't really know, but, so, I want to say, thank you for watching everyone, and, thank you for watching, see you next time folks, and have a good day.